that type people it is about noon on Saturday we've had quite a chill morning we kind of haven't had one since we got here because we got here Monday and just have been tired and had to work every day so now we just had a chill morning I edited two videos and put them up on my channel you know because um, you know one of the main things about YouTube is consistency and so I'm really just trying to like completely skip over that and just post two videos and then post one tomorrow and who knows so those are up there Luke and I are going to a place called Puzzlewood which I have zero idea what it is I hear it's really cool and really pretty and those are two of my favorite adjectives so I'm very excited and um, yeah should be good I will show you guys around keep you updated taking a wrong turn because Google told us to go a different way. We've made it! Look at these flowers, guys. Ugh, oh, they shouldn't make me so happy because they're probably just a weed, but oh, it's so yellow. This isn't rape, which is another yellow flower. This is a buttercup, which is just, it's a real flower, and that makes me really happy that this is an actual thing. We made it! It's a goat. It's an English, a British goat. Wow, that is a, what? doing? Pretty, no, molting, come back, baby. Oh, they're molting, yeah. yeah. Little Sebastian, everyone. He came to say hello to Luke and I. Hello. Hello. Oh, I love it. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at all the buttercups. And There's a donkey over there we're going to go say hello to because Luke's really excited. I haven't touched a donkey in years. Okay, my favorite thing you could ever say is there's no clues or maps. Follow the path into the wood and choose your own direction. Can we, you find the way out? <gasps> Nothing is better than the idea of being lost and having to solve my way out of something. Oh, I can't handle how excited I am to go in there. Oh, it has like a little, little... Pigs. Luke, you are too excited by these animals. I'm we not... are going into an awesome forest. You're excited for the pigs? But any animal. Any animal. I love that. Look at this. Look at the little, oh, this is where fairies hang out. This is where they are. We are going to see some fairies today. Guys, stop. Okay, look at this. Oh, so by the way, this is where they filmed uh, a lot of Star Wars. Episode 7. Right? Episode 7 with the, um, the Ewoks. Filmed here when they're on their little racer things. What are those called? No, that was, no. No, not that's that in scene? the new episode 7. Oh, it's in that one? With uh, BB-8 and um, Ray Skywalker. Spoiler alert. <clears throat> They're in here? Uh, you need to bleep out that bit where I spoil Star Wars. That's fine. Um, yeah, it was filmed in here. What part? The bit where they're in the woods. Oh, oh, that bit with Kylo yeah. Ren when he's... And BB-8, yeah. Oh, I had no idea. That makes sense. Wow. I thought this was the, the Ewok part. I'm wrong. Guys, stop. No. Oh my gosh. I cannot. I just, I, oh, I can't handle this. Look at the moss. Freaking love moss. Touch the moss. Touch the moss. Touch the butt. Hey, I thought moss was only supposed to be on the north side of a thing. Bullshit. Well, that is, that is bullshit because loot, this place proves it wrong. Wow. Oh, these are the dinosaur prints we're supposed to look for. Not really dinosaur y. But cool nonetheless. Luke, you shouldn't have taken me here. Why? I just can't handle myself. I just, <laughs> I'm never going to leave. I'm going to build a house on these rocks and never leave. Just when you think, oh, wow, it's gorgeous. I can't see anything better. It just keeps getting better. Oh, photography squat. This is on the vlog now, Luke. Huh? You should be embarrassed of yourself. This is how I do. Getting those. Hey, getting those, those Instagram likes. 
good Instagrams. Look how great this is. It's like this nice little oop, overlook over here and benches and they've just done a really good job making this place still natural but for people to come visit. It's awesome. Yeah, so Doctor Who was filmed here too. The Weeping Angels scene. Uh, one of the Weeping Angel episodes. Um, I think it's when... I think it's the Weeping Angel one, well, when they're in a forest. That one. <laughs> Opposed to the <laughs> other ones where they're not in forests. I think this is the forest one. You know, where they're like... I think they were... Were they, on, were they in... Well, they were in space, obviously. But they weren't in America. They were on space... They, they had to, like, leave America. the spaceship thing into the forest and there's Weeping Angels. I think it's that episode. Wait... Doctor Who fans, correct me here. I mean, I've seen it, unless it was in this last season, but I don't think it was. But yes, and they've also filmed, filmed another episode here. I don't know what the other one is. I'm gonna have to do some Googling when I get home. It's the best place ever. You guys have to see this pig Luke wanted to look at. It's 32 stone, which, that's heavy. How many stones are you? I'm like, five. Oh, okay. I thought Luke was like two stone. I have no idea how much a stone is then. Look at that. It's huge. His name is Lulu, which is a really good name for a pig. Old spot pig. Cute. 450 pounds. Yep. Okay. That's a very heavy pig. Way to go, Lulu. I'm proud of you. That was great. Oh, I loved it. That was exactly what I wanted to see in my life. So now we're going to Newent. 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 Because there was a sign at the Puzzle Woods that said, if you go this way, or like one of the towns called Newent and has vinery vineries? Vineyards slash wineries was vineries. And it says it's just a really cute, quaint town. I was like, can we please go? And it's kind of on the way home. So we're gonna stop there, probably get some tea there, have a pot of tea. A little pot of tea. A little pot of tea. And um, it'll be really fun. Okay, just found my dream job. <laughs> Listen to BBC One and the announcer host says, and now we're going to talk to our social media specialist and entertainment corresponder. I'm like, that is not a real job title, and that is, but that is what I want my job title to be. Social media and entertainment specialist. <laughs> just, they just call him up on the BBC and he said, oh, what'd you see on the big weekend? And he goes, 21 pilots climbing all over the rigging. It was trending for hours. We can do that. We can always look at numbers of what's trending on Twitter and keep, keep radio stations up on pop culture and social media. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what I want in life. So I guess I'm moving here to work for BBC. Sounds great. We made it to Newent. Can you stay there and take a picture of me? Oh, a... We made it to Newent and it's just a really quick, quaint little town. All these little towns have bunting, which just, just makes it seem like it's always a party. We're trying to find a tea shop. Um, it's really cute. It's really nice. All the buildings are great. Look at this one. Luke is. And this one I'm standing by is on stilts. Woo! It's amazing. I love it here. It's cute little quaint village. Typical Luke and I. We found a cat. We're really good at finding cats. He's making the best noise. Say hi. So we went into town and nothing was open. Everything was closed um, just for like, I don't know why. Why was everything closed? Saturday. Saturday. So we are at a garden center. We just got a Put a tea. See the place we can find it. And some what? See the place we can find tea. Only place. Everyone, please just take a moment and look at my dream car. Oh my goodness. The worst car. What? We got home about an hour ago from the town we were at, the little tea place. We've just kind of been relaxing. I did a little bit of coloring. Uh, Luke has been in the kitchen working away because he's just so talented and an amazing cook. And he's made some delicious um, chicken uh, burgers with avocado and cheese and some homemade sweet potato fries. And I'm watching Come Dine With Me. Fantastic show. We're eating in the living room today because the washing is in the kitchen because in England, the washing is in the kitchen. Luke's dinner was absolutely perfect and amazing, as per usual. It was delicious. And now we're finishing off tonight with a Kinder Bueno because, oh, mm. First day we were in the shop, I had to pick up some Kinder because it's the best. 
Luke and I have actually decided to go like out-ish kind of to get a drink or maybe even to be a little sneaky. So I put on this black shirt, which means I'm ready to party. I'm wearing black shoes, black pants, and a black shirt. Again, me and just black on black on black. Not 100% sure what it's about. We are back at the Tivoli. We were here first night. I wasn't vlogging, but now I am. So we're back and I have a cider, de la Shaw's, and Luke, what are you drinking? Beer and Moretti. It's an Italian beer. Is it delicious? Yeah, it's like an Italian Stella. Wonderful. We're sitting outside. It's definitely gonna rain. It's a little windy. We're good. But nice, because I much prefer to be a little chilly outside than sitting in the building where there's no air conditioning. They don't have air conditioning here, everyone. I'm going to die. We moved on to a little more wild locale. It's called Harry's Free Food Cook Free House. It ain't free though. Harry's Free Food Cook Free House. So, uh, false advertising, a little puffery there, I'd say. That's what I got. Little cheeky vodka soda, didn't we, Luke? We're going on a bar crawl, aren't we? We're crawling the bars. One drink maximum per place. That is a bar crawl. That is what I call bar crawl. We've moved on! which that is right up my alley, AKA gin is, not whiskey. Proud of people who like it. Like, congratulations to you guys because that's disgusting. But good on you, good on you. I love gin though. Back from the bars. We had chicken satay that Luke made a couple nights ago and I wasn't full, so I got the cheese up. So I got some goat cheese and I got some free and I got some delicious crackers, and I'm having the time of my life. Like, why go to the bars when you can just eat cheese? I don't know. Why do anything when you could just eat cheese instead? So, I'm just saying a couple prayers to Jesus Christ, who is my God, um, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and it's a good night. It's a good night. Ah.